harmonic minor sharp four scale. Mm -hmm. Who knows that scale? It's it's a very nice and fresh sound if you're bored with with all your minor sounds and maybe you can put some more inspiration in it. it has some bluesy sound because you have the sharp four. Exactly. Mm -hmm. scale is if we um, kind of go into it in the details of the scale and practice it with patterns we um, get like weird intervals which we don't have in, in the, our normal scales we have sometimes because we have like three half steps right this makes it special so when we play trials of the scales we don't have only thirds but we also have like seconds That scale with you guys now is also a way you can practice like um, all the scales. Just in in the yeah, let's do the fifth position. And can you please put the metronome on 80? Now let's let's move our right hand the spectrum as little as possible, and um, let's keep our fingers on the string as long as possible and move as late as possible and as fast as possible but we play very slowly we will play whole notes now whole notes and then we have plenty of time to relax and to connect left and right hand okay. so i would do this until I feel really comfortable. But right now, we don't have so much time, so let's go to half notes now, okay? So this is really a kind of a meditation on the guitar for me. Let's do quarter notes. Let's try to play the trials from that scale, okay? Awesome. What, what this already gives us as like inspiration, what we can play over C minor, for example, we can play D minor. If it's in that scale, in that scale sounds good like opens up a new box, you know? Like hexatonic, just... <laughs> and let's um, plug into the amplifiers. Because I, wanna, I want to make some music with you guys. Like if you take like just 
three notes, some weird intervals, and move them on the scales. Then you get then you get new voicings. That helps a lot. certain limits for example now only minor trials you can even go further and say only ascending minor trials only descending minor trials it, it's endless you know and you can for example over E flat major we can play like G minor or C minor right, okay, right. what is this E diminished chord doing here what does it done exactly which one Minor triad can we use over um, C7? E flat, yeah. Nice. E flat minor. Okay. Ah, no, D flat. D flat minor sounds amazing. It's just an exercise, right? And over F minor, of course, we can do like F minor triad, G minor triad, um, D half diminished, we can stick with F minor, right. G7, we can do what? A flat minor. Exactly. Awesome, there you go. I think. There you go. And so what we can do then is, uh, well, actually, now I'm, I should tell you guys this later after we did this, what we're doing now, but I'm doing it now. Um, we can go further and say, okay, now we have like s over C minor, we don't want a Dorian sound, but we go into like G alterated sound. So yeah. we can do A flat minor and mix A flat minor and C minor triad as we want. We can even go so far and play only A flat minor over it without resolving in order to like be like really weird and badass. But we have to mean it and we have to hear it. Music is 
explain for the audience. So our melodies should be strong. We should play to the outside and not to the inside. So if we practice like that, it helps us to project the melodies like boom, no matter what instrument we play. Yeah, listening doesn't necessarily mean mean to understand what the other guy is playing. Like when you say, hey, you should listen to the music more when you're playing with the band. It means you should only like focus 100% on the music and not on yourself. What what helps me is like I once was at the concert of Lage Lund in Berlin and I noticed he would be like that. <laughs> Staring like, like, like a crazy guy. To that side. Uh, to, yeah, yeah, like uh, to, on one point. On one, on, yeah, yeah, like this, exactly. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> You know? The whole concert. Yeah, the whole concert, like scary. And huh. I went home and I tried to do it. And I suddenly noticed that I played different. The way that I'm not focused with myself anymore, you know, like with the guitar, not in my instrument. No, I'm like, I, I think he imagines like music being some weird shape here moving and he's just watching and putting his stuff to it. What I notice, what makes me play better is when I don't think about what I add to the music and I don't think about what I play at all. It doesn't work always. But I just listen to the music and here I let loose, I just let it go. And then the best moments happen, you know, you fly with the music. Two, three, go. take C minor scale um, let's play all this exactly exactly so you guys know it already so we take the C all the C minor drop tools and now all the tones which you have in the scale which are not in the chord you play a diminished chord interesting when you get to major chords because here you have two different sounds if we think over E flat major for example C minor we get a different sound than we think if we think G minor right <laughs> Humor. Interesting. That's yeah, interesting. like humor kind of. And the C minor thing sounds more serious. Go with for C minor. Yeah, sounds more classical. One of the most important things is to not forget 
that music was before theory and not the other way around. And when you're a student, you often, um, you are so much into the, um, into the whole working and practicing thing and trying to understand the theory that you sometimes forget it, uh, what was first. And uh, theory is only to explain what sounds beautiful. And that's why the best thing to work is to record yourself and listen to it and your ear to decide what, uh, what you want to change on your playing. And that's how also you get your own sound because you suddenly have to ask yourself, what, how do you want to sound in order to do this? And you get more precise in your mind what sound you want and then you can work on it. Uh, I got, I developed the most in the time where I spent six hours in my room recording myself, like having like five gigabytes in one day. No, not so much, because I recorded myself with very bad quality. Um, but uh, just like doing like 20 videos um, of me playing one standard. Six hours and being like crazy and at night I, told, I thought like, okay, I'm so bad, uh, I, I, I give up. But then when I took a little bit of space and I listened to all of the videos, I actually noticed how much I developed in those six hours. Because, yeah, you notice, ah, my timing is bad there, let's work on that. Oh, my, my sound is not good, my right and left hand combination sucks. Um, my, yeah, you know? So I think that's the best advice I can give. Record yourself and decide on your own what you want to change.